My name is uh, Oliver Sharprot. I'm a lecturer in the study of religions at University College Cork. Well, I was involved in really the major, a major research project on Islam in Ireland, which was funded by the Irish Research Council for the Humanities and Social Sciences and the Department of Antishok. And this was the first major extensive research project looking at Islam in Ireland from a historical and contemporary perspective. Um, in, in current academic studies on Islam in Europe, Ireland has been a blank spot. So there was really, it was a major research gap which we filled with, with this research project. And as part of the project, I worked with um, three postdoc researchers who covered different aspects. So we looked at the history, Muslim settlement in Ireland, different mosques, organizations, Muslim women in Ireland, integration policies, and so on. We will have a conference at UCC to present the results of the project to the public. I mean, it came to an end in December, so we want to share the results of the project with the public. So people, researchers that were involved with the project will talk about their particular research. For example, Dr. Yafa Shanaik will talk about her research on Irish women who converted to Islam. Um, we have also other um, graduate research students, PhD students from across Ireland who've done research on different aspects. So, for example, Idana Richardson will talk about the legal facilitation of Islamic finance in Ireland. Claire Hogan will talk about the accommodation of Islam in the Irish education, educational system. And then we have James Carr who will talk about Islamophobia in Ireland. Um, the major purpose of the conference is to launch the um, special issue on Islam in the Republic of Ireland in an academic journal, in the Journal of Muslim Minority Affairs. Um, I co-edited this journal with a colleague from Finland, Professor Tula Sakaranaho, and this is the first time that there is an entire issue of an academic journal dedicated to Islam and Muslims in the Republic of Ireland. And again, the purpose of the conference is to launch this journal there. The Muslim population in Ireland has grown rapidly in the last 20 years, sort of in line with the general demographic developments in Irish society, the immigration trends that began in the Celtic Tiger years. So we probably have around 4,000 Muslims living in Ireland in the early 1990s, and now we have estimates of 40,000, 45,000 Muslims. So it's a rapid increase um, in the last years. And it's a very, in that sense, it's a very new and very young presence, um, posing to a certain extent various challenges on the, the emerging Muslim communities in Ireland. You know, they need to find adequate facilities for worship, for religious education, and very often it's very difficult for them to find these places, to maintain these places, to fund these places, and so on. Um, the other major outcome is that when we talk about Muslims in Ireland, we talk about an extremely diverse community. It's actually rather misleading to talk about the Muslim community of Ireland. We rather talk about, or we need to talk about, about different communities. It's, perhaps Ireland has one of the most diverse Muslim populations in Europe. Um, we, we like to say that the, the, the Muslim communities, or Islam in Ireland, um, are kind of a microcosm of the global Ummah, the global Islamic community, with all sorts of ethnic, cultural, national backgrounds being represented, all sorts of interpretations and trends in Islam, and all sorts of levels of religiosity. I mean, we have you know, Muslims in Ireland who are very strict, very observant, but also we have many Muslims for whom Islam is not really that important, not central in their lives. So it's a very diverse community. They're located throughout Ireland. I mean, the majority, I mean, half of the population lives in the Dublin metropolitan area. So, you know, half of the population is there. But in all major and smaller cities across Ireland, we have, you know, growing Muslim communities. Generally speaking, research, academic research on Muslims in Ireland is still in its infancy. And the project was, if you like, a major starting point. Um, so there's, there are many opportunities for more research. I mean, there's on the one hand, the opportunity for a kind of long-term study, because we just started to, research the, the emergence and the establishment of these new communities so we can now see how they, de how they will develop you know, in the long term. It would be very interesting to look at various transnational links of Muslim communities. One of the 
the fastest growing Muslim communities in Ireland are Pakistanis, and they have many links with Pakistani Muslim communities in Britain, so to, to investigate that would also be important. The final and perhaps most important line of research would be to look at second generation Muslims um, that are just coming of age. You know, they, were, they were often born here, they grew up here, they went to school here, they were socialized, educated here. They're sort of entering now universities, the workplace, and we know very little about them, you know, what it means to be a young Muslim in Ireland in the 21st century. There's immense scope for research and although the project has come to a conclusion, you know, we would like to emphasize that we've just sort of scratched the surface and, you know, we see the project as a starting point for future more extensive research on Muslims in Ireland.